Welcome back, and now to an issue that's grown in popularity among some of our nation's top Democratic leaders, including the president, Supreme Court reform. In late July, President Biden called for changes to be made to the high court, like placing term limits, removing some immunities, and enacting a code of conduct. Oregon's Democratic Senator Ron Wyden wants to go a step further, pitching his own idea to Congress, one he says will restore a balance among the three branches of government. So it strikes me as an approach that reflects balance and accountability. And while bold, it doesn't strike me that having six additional judges over a 12 year period is uh, anything other than common sense. Now, the big change in Wyden's judicial, um, judicial Modernization and Transparency Act, expanding the Supreme Court's bench from nine justices to 15. This would happen, as he said, over the course of 12 years. Wyden also wants to increase the number of appeals courts from 13 to 15, with one Supreme Court justice assigned to each circuit. This, he argues, would account for what he calls a massively increased workload at all levels of the justice system. Well over a hundred years ago, America had uh, nine justices. And now we're in effect 900% bigger and we still have nine justices. We got a lot of work catching up to do. Now, another important change in the bill, how the high court can overturn legislation on constitutional grounds. Instead of a simple majority, Wyden's bill would change it to a two thirds vote. He said this would address a trend of rulings in the past few years of fundamental rights being taken away by a narrow majority. Lastly, improvements to transparency, like requiring the IRS to audit every nominee to the Supreme Court and making tax returns public. So what's next? The bill was formally introduced to the Senate in late September. It was then referred to the Judiciary Committee. They'll decide whether to bring it to the full Senate. And if it somehow passes that chamber, it faces a near impossible odds in the House, at least with the current Republican majority. Even President Biden's calls for change, which don't go as far as Wyden's, were met with fierce pushback. In an op-ed to the Washington Post, Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell called the reform push liberal frustration and attempts to hamstring a core institution. And in the House, Republican Speaker Mike Johnson said it would be dead on arrival. So we can expect little to no Republican support on larger reforms like expanding the court. But that's not stopping Wyden, who believes he'll be able to sway his congressional colleagues. I think when you look at that in the context of what I just described, the growth of the country, the dramatic changes we've seen in the country since the time when there were first nine justices well over 100 years ago, makes a lot of sense. Justice is really all about balance. That's what my legislation does. So what do you think? Senator Wyden says the high court faces a, legit a legitimacy crisis. Is he saying that now because of the Republican majority on the high court? Or do you think it is time for a change? Email the story at KGW.com or call and leave a voicemail for us, 503-226-5090. Stay with us. We're digging for old right after this.